What's happening, to my YouTube peeps? Thanks a shitload for joining me today. That's right, a shitload. Glad you're here with me. This is my August 321 day for deadlifts. Basically, the heaviest week of the gym, LF531. But I do it August 321 because I roll like that. This is the first set of three 365. The next set, we got 410 on the bar for just two. And I actually felt like shit this day. So it took quite a lot to actually hit these weights. But, you know, I got in the zone, listened to some really good music, pumped myself up, thought good, you know, positive thoughts, really tried to focus as much as I could. And I managed to hit all my weights. So I was really, and I am very pleased with how today went. Last set, 460 on the bar. Let's see what happens, guys. Can he hit it? Can he hit it? Let's find out. There we go, bros. Anyways, uh, constant progress on this program. I haven't had a month where I screwed up horribly. I haven't had a week where I screwed up horribly, so I'm really, really just happy with that. Hopefully, I can take it and go all the way to my cut with nonstop progress. Here I'm doing basically Romanian deadlifts. Um, I'm practicing my whole keeping my spine straight. Uh, main thing to focus on, even when you're doing the cervical retrusion, capital flexion thing that I put in the last video, um, obviously what I'm doing with my head is I'm keeping my neck back and my chin down slightly. Not crazy down, not crazy back, but just slightly, like I said. But keeping the chest up, meanwhile, doing the thing with the head. And that really keeps that spine straight. And if you're going to do that thing with the head, you really need to make sure that chest is up. Otherwise, it'll round that upper back. So... I don't know, try it out for yourself, look it up for yourself. In the last video, I put some links for you guys to check out, so go ahead and check those out. After that, guys, I think, did I go straight to this? Yeah, I started doing my calves automatically because I, I had 10 sets to do. I always do 10 sets, either on the freaking hack squat machine right here, or on the standing calf raise machine over on the other side of the gym. And you can see how I do my calves right here, slow on the negatives, anywhere between 4 to 6, 7 seconds. Maybe a pause of one to two seconds at the bottom, blast it up, maybe hold it at the top if I can, and then go slow on the uh, negative again, all over again. So 10 sets of that I did, and each time I'm making sure to raise the weight, okay? Uh, on my later sets of this, I started adding in my hamstring exercise, and um, for that, I decided to do these. Tons of time under tension on this exercise. I'm, I'm doing this for a straight minute in this clip. Uh, I haven't done this in a long time. I ended up only using 120 pounds or something like that for three sets of 10. Tons of time under tension. Really slow on the negatives. I definitely felt it in my, my hamstrings. And uh, this combined with the five sets of 10 of the Romanian deadlift or stiff leg deadlift, however you want to look at it, that I did in the other clip. Oh my gosh, my hams were on fire. So that was basically it. After this, I did three sets of dragon flags. And I know a lot of people got at me because they thought I wasn't doing it correctly. A lot of people think you're supposed to do it on a flat, on a flat bench, and you can do it on a flat or a decline bench. But the whole reason why other people were thinking I did it wrong was because I didn't keep my upper torso to lower torso to hips to toes. I didn't keep that all in one straight line, and that's technically what a dragon flag is supposed to be. So you can go ahead and look at the old video that I put up and understand, you know, how I wasn't doing it to the T, to, you know, to the book. So go ahead and um, that's pretty much it guys. That's pretty much the workout. After this I just tanned 400 calories of cardio. That was basically it for today. Boom. Thanks a ton for watching guys. Let's go over a few things. I'll probably have Melissa back on video this Saturday and this Sunday. She can't um, go to the gym with me through uh, Monday through Friday. So Yep, she'll be back pretty soon, so just wait and you'll see her again. As far as changes, you know, you usually see me do heavy deadlifts after my, I'm sorry, you usually see me do about 300-ish pound deadlifts after my heavy, heavy deadlifts. The reason I'm not doing them, I want to kind of focus a little more on my hamstrings. They definitely need some work. Uh, my spinal erectors, uh, they're, I feel like they're doing fine, but my hamstrings, my lats, um, their calves, of course, and you're, you're, you know, I'm working them. They need a ton of work. So lats, hamstrings, calves. I need to work the hell out of them. So for my hamstrings, probably every other week I'm going to start alternating the boring but big deadlifts, heavy, boring but big deadlifts with some sort of, you know, stiff leg or Romanian kind of deadlifts like I started here. I only did 185 pounds for five sets of 10, really slow negatives. And uh, next week, you know, I'll raise the weight. I'll keep on raising the weight. 
as much as I can every single every single month. You know, I'm doing it every other week, so it'll be every other week. Um, as far as my back, my lats, I'm either gonna add a full-on rowing day of some sort somewhere in the week, so I'll be working out five days a week, or I'll transform my military press day into a rowing and military press day, where I'll probably do barbell rows before I actually do my military press. Do my military press and then go back to another rowing thing, then do maybe dumbbell press or hypertrophy style military press, and then go do some more back. And then maybe one or two, maybe two max exercises for biceps on that military press day. And that's probably my game plan for back. Maybe that'll be the way it is, maybe it won't. Maybe I'll go back to what I was doing a while ago and have one back exercise on my up or on my bench press day, which I do, you know, I do chest and triceps on that day. Maybe I'll throw in one back exercise, probably a vertical style pulling exercise. And then on my military press day, I'll do two to three rowing type movements since I feel like those are what benefit my lat width the most. So we'll see what happens, guys, and I will keep you updated this whole time. I know you guys have been asking me. Matt, what's your what's your scheme for five three one? What's your customization style? And um, a lot of people say, hey, you shouldn't customize in the first place. Well, the reason why you know Wendler says don't customize is because well, the majority of people shouldn't be customizing programs or or uh, already successful programs. That's just the way it is. Most people shouldn't be customizing it. But people who are say either upper intermediate or who are coached by someone or obviously there's some people that are advanced. Damn it, the door. Fuck. Hold on a second, guys. All right, back to what I was going to say. You can go to my simplyshredded.com interview, type in on Google, Simply Shredded in one word, um, space Matt, space Ogus, and you can find my interview where I basically laid out what I've been doing most of the time or what I've been doing for like six months in the past. So go ahead and do that if you kind of want to hop on what I've been doing or just know what I've been doing. So peace out, guys. Hope you're awesome. Uh, hope you're doing great. And um, looking forward to the next video. Peace. Equip me a little bitch! Ogus cake!